It's time for the 19th Annual Senior Summit. It's May 17th and it's at the 4-H Park from 9 to 2. And when you go there, you know that there's lots of amazing people to see, lots of amazing programs to talk about, and one of them is with us here today. So I have Terry from the University of Maryland Shore Regional Health. Terry, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, the Senior Summit, have you been before? I have. This will be my second year. Yeah, what did you think? It was a blast last year. Yeah. We had a lot of fun, saw a lot of people. Yeah, so many people coming by, want to get information. It's great. Right. Yeah. So this year, what can they expect from Shore Regional Health at the event? So within Shore Regional Health, it's not just the hospital anymore. It's programs that we're doing outside of the hospital. So this year, joining me at the Senior Summit, uh, my, my department is Population Health, but we'll have the Cancer Center. Uh, we'll have the um, Stroke Center and Rehabilitation. We'll have the Queen Anne's Emergency Center. Shore Medical Group will be joining us with the variety of different providers that they provide across the, the healthcare continuum. Um, so we'll have a lot of people there sharing information about Shore Regional Health. Right, and you guys were one of our gold sponsors, which is why you have so many tables there this year. That's right. <laughs> so you'll have a big impact on everyone that visits. What are some of the things they might learn about or like programs you might get to hear about? Um, within my department, we, we're looking at what can we do for people outside of the hospital. So we've got a big push on for advanced directives mm -hmm. and getting people to put their advanced directives into their medical record. Uh, we found out during COVID that people didn't have their advanced directive in their file. So we're going out and reaching people at every level. Uh, the Senior Summit going out to community events across the five counties and sharing information about advanced directives, why it's important, why it's important to have a conversation with your family members yeah. so that they understand your wishes and put it in writing and then put it in, into your medical record. Right, we just ran into this with my family a couple months back now. It's, it's something you don't wanna talk about. So talk about now, right, before it is either too late or too hard. Right, talk about it now before it becomes an emergency. Yeah. And the last thing we want you to do is stress, have to go home, try and find something that your parent or loved one has put on file someplace. You don't know where it is. They right. don't know where it is. Right. So let's find it now and put it in their medical record. Yeah. You can always revisit it and update it. You can change it and we can put a corrected copy in your medical record, but having something on file. Yeah. Um, we're also gonna be with the Senior Summit, we'll be talking about uh, remote patient monitoring. Yeah. This was is, a great program. You were just telling me about it, it's awesome. That's something new that we're doing within Population Health. Uh, just started, we've got 100 kits that we were able to purchase uh, with our partnership with the golf tournament this last year. And it's providing patients a blood pressure cuff, a pulse ox, and a scale that is Bluetooth linked to a tablet and they can take their vital signs every day. Yeah. And we can monitor their vital signs, hopefully prevent a problem become, before it becomes a serious problem. Right. And potentially avoid a hospital stay. Yeah. So with our chronic health population, CHF, hypertension, those type patients, we're trying to monitor them on a regular basis. Maybe we can do something good to help them out. Yeah, and we were talking also, this for people that are watching, maybe you're a senior, maybe you're a caregiver, this isn't just for seniors. I mean, someone like me, I have high blood pressure, so it'd be great for, uh, for right. everyone involved. The only thing we're limited, we only have 100 kits. Yeah. So we're trying to address those people that are maybe on the, the higher end uh, right. of the spectrum, but um, we've had really good success so, so far. We've been up and running about six weeks and uh, have really good success. That's great. So hoping and these to make just, a positive impact. Right, right. These are just two of the programs. But I'm sure there's going to be so much to learn about at Senior uh, Summit. There's going to be so much more. Right. Uh, I know the Emergency Center, uh, they're doing a big presentation on falls and fall risk, uh, looking at things around your house and seeing what you can do to address loose rugs or cords or things like that to prevent a fall because right. that's a serious problem with our senior population. Yeah. And if you want more information, we have your lovely website up. That's right. So the, all the programs, I guess, can be found and lots of the, the things you're doing in the area. Everything, yes. Perfect. And, and come see us. Yeah, come see them at the Senior <laughs> Summit or you know, come talk to you, even if it's not the Senior Summit, because you're That's always right. out in the communities and we always appreciate that. We are. We're, we're going to every Senior Center um, 
health fair, everything that we can get out to, right. we're getting out to. Great. Well, thank you so much, Terry. It's been wonderful talking to you. Thank you for being a gold sponsor for the Senior Summit. And I know people can't wait to come out and talk to you on May 17th. Sounds good. Come <laughs> see us.